ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದುಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹ ವಾಂಕಲ್ಪತರು ವೈಶ್ಯಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂ ಹೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚೈವನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುದಾತ್ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾವತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ತಿತ್ತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಜನಶ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾದ ವಿಮುಖಶ ದೈವಾದ ಅಧರ್ಮಶೀಲ ಸುದುಃಖಿತ ಅನುಗೃಹಾಯೇ ಹೋ ಚರಂತಿ ನೂನ ಭೂತಿ ಭಾವ್ಯಾನಿ ಜನಾರ್ದನ ಜನಶ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾದ ವಿಮುಖಶ ದೈವಾದ ಅಧರ್ಮಶೀಲ ಸುದುಃಖಿತ ಅನುಗೃಹಾಯೇ ಹೋ ಚರಂತಿ ನೂನ ಭೂತಿ ಭಾವ್ಯಾನಿ ಜನಾರ್ದನ ಗೌರಿಯ ಗೋಷ್ಠೀಭೂತಿ ಶಿಶಿಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಜಗ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾಲ್ ಪರಮಂಶ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಸೇಡ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಬಲರಾಮ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಗುರು ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಗೌರಿಯ ಗೋಷ್ಠೀಪತಿ ಶಿಶಿಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಜಗ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾಲ್ ಪರಮಂಶ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಸೇಡ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಬಲರಾಮ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ
to save us from this material torture. They are coming in different form. Sadguru. All Sadguru, all Sadguru, they are coming from Nithyananda Balaram, not Asadguru. All Sadguru coming from the lotus feet of Nithyananda Balaram. They are coming from Nithyananda Balaram to deliver us from Maya. But point is that, Prabhupada speaking, most of the people, they are not ready to accept absolute truth. Most of the people, they are not at all ready to accept absolute truth. For this reason, we cannot stop speaking about that absolute truth. Most of the people, they are less interested to accept that absolute truth. For this reason, we cannot stop speaking about the Absolute Truth. We cannot stop. We can go on speaking about the Absolute Truth. If somebody likes to accept, they can accept. If they don't like to accept, they cannot accept. They are up to them. But it is our duty to go on speaking about the Absolute Truth. Srila Prabhupada told, I came here in this material world to give something very special. The reason for why I came in this material world, the reason for why I came in this material world, I mean to give something very special, but I could not get, get my time. I, I could not get any time. I cannot arrange any time to speak about that very secret thing. Because I was busy to cut Maya, I was busy to cut Maya from, I was busy to cut Maya of all people. That's why I couldn't speak about the Absolute Truth. Absolute Truth means that secret thing, the reason for why I have come here. Sattva Vratam, in Bhagavatam it is written about Bhagavan. Satya Bratam Satya Trishatyam Satya Bratam Trishatyam Satya 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 Nihitam Cha Satya Satyatmakam Tam Saranam Prapanya If we are less interested, if we are less interested to accept Absolute Truth, then why we have come here to do bhajan? If we are if we are not interested to accept that absolute truth, then for why, what reason we have come here to do Hari Bhajan? That is the main reason. Nityananda Balaram and uh, Baldevji Maharaj all same. Baldevji Maharaj coming in the form of Nityananda, special Nityananda. It is a commit. It is the commitment of Nityananda to save us all from Maya. It is the commitment of Nityananda Balaram that it is the commitment of Nityananda Balaram that he can save us from material Maya, and he can help us to get the lotus feet of Gauranga. But we are we fear. We fear to speak about the Absolute Truth. You can remember the case of Ramanuja Charjo. It is actually, it is a, naturally, naturally people are against the Absolute Truth. Naturally. They are less interested to accept it. Like Jadava Charjo, when Ramanuja Charjo could realize, when Ramanuja Charjo, when, when, when Jadava Charjo could realize that Ramanuja Charjo, I mean Lakshman Deshik, can cut Mayabad and he is like to establish Vishuddha Bhakti Siddhanta, then he wanted to kill him. Jadava Charjo, when Jadava Charjo could realize that he is a small boy in future, going to establish Shuddha Bhakti Siddhanta. 
Then Yadavacharya wanted to make a plan to kill him. Wanted to kill him. That Cholraj, Cholraj, you know, Cholraj in South India, Madras, Cholraj wanted to kill Ramayushajya. If if he is not going to accept Saiva Dharma, if he is not going to leave Vaishnav Dharma, and if he is not going to accept Saiva Dharma, then he wanted to kill him. So, in, in the dress of Ramanu Shadjo, Kuresh went there. Kuresh, disciple of Ramanu Shadjo, went there to establish Shuddha Bhakti Siddhanta. But anywhere, they are, they are not ready to accept it. They wanted to kill Ramanu Shadjo. They wanted to kill Ramanu Shadjo. Why? Because he wanted to establish Shuddha Bhakti Siddhanta. He, they eradicated the two eyes of, of Kures. They wanted to kill Ramanu Shadjo. I, I mean, yes, Ramanu Shadjo. Ramanu Shadjo was given poison mixing with prasadam. Ramanu Shadjo was given poison with prasadam. Ramanu Shadjo was given poison with Charnamita. So it is quite natural. Those who like to establish Shuddha Bhakti Siddhantra, naturally whole world can go against them. It's quite natural. They can. That, you know, that Ramchandra Khan wanted to kill Haridas Thakur. Ramchandra Khan wanted to kill Haridas Thakur because he wanted to establish absolute truth. The king of this, you know, Bengal wanted to kill Haridas Thakur. Wanted to kill because he wanted to establish, establish absolute truth. So this is nothing new. It can go on. At the time of Buddha Dharma, when Sankarachajyo appeared and wanted to establish something by the help of by the help of this, you know, Vedic Dharma, by the help of, not actually taking help, just he is going to take support of Vedic Dharma. Actually, he is not going to accept Vedic Dharma. He wanted to keep Veda in front of us so that people can accept it. At least, see, so he wanted to fight against Buddha Dharma. That time also, Buddhists, they wanted to kill them. When after Sankaracharya, when our Vaishnava Ramanujaja came and Madhacharya came there also, those Mayavadi, they wanted to, there is one small book named. Uh, uh, Mukta Charito, I think, a small book published by Prabhupada. There also it is written that those Buddhists, they wanted to attack them. After that, when Shuddha Vaishnava Dharma came, then those Mayavadi wanted to kill them. Many torture. So, Prabhupada speaking, Prabhupada speaking, Shuddha Guru Vaishnavas, they can bear an, any amount of torture and insult on them. Shuddha Guru Vaishnav, pure Guru Vaishnav can bear any amount of torture and insult on them. But they cannot bear, they cannot bear when, they cannot bear, they cannot bear when, when somebody going to insult Guru Vaishnav, Tattva Siddhanta distorted. So, for the, for the establishment of, for the establishment of Suddha Vaishnava Siddhanta, you will have to be very careful, you have to do anyway. But, Nityananda Prabhu, Shankar Sano Karanata Sai, Garbhata Sai, Chukayadhi Sai, Se Sangsukala, Sa Nityananda Aksham, Ranam Prabhati. Nityananda Prabhu, when Jagai Madhai wanted to attack, Jagai Madhai when wanted to attack, but still Nityananda was speaking anything. 
because Nityananda is Guru Tattva. When Jagai Madai wanted to attack Nityananda, but still Nityananda not speaking anything, because they like to attack him. But Gauranga was very angry about that. When Jagai Madhu wanted to attack Nityananda, then Nityananda Prabhu was not at all angry. Try to understand. So we like to follow the track of Nityananda Prabhu. If somebody attack us, then we are not going to express any angry attitude. But Gauranga Mahapu become very angry, wanted to kill him. With Gauranga Mahapu was not. But by the request of Nityananda Prabhu, Gauranga Mahapu was finally ready to give Kipa to Jagai Madai. Not before that. So, Balaji Maharaj even wanted to give protection to Duryodhan, wicked Duryodhan. Even Balaji Maharaj wanted to give protection to Nita, um, to Duryodhan, wicked Duryodhan. So it is the it is the commitment of Nityananda. Nityananda Prabhu like to protect us, but it depends upon us. We like to accept it or not. So naturally, you know, absolute truth is not such a cheap thing. What to do? So, Balaji Maharaj Nityananda, about Nityananda, Gorang Mahapu wanted to establish the Siddhanta that one must worship Nityananda. One must give honor to Nityananda first. First of all, you must give honor to Nityananda. After that, you can give honor to me. Gorang Mahapu and somebody wanted to pay pranam to Gorang Mahaprabhu, but Mahaprabhu speaking, you must pay pranam to him. Those who went against Nityananda Prabhu, they all finished. Like Ramchandra Khan. When Gorang Mapu went there, when Gorang Mapu went there, Benapur to deliver them, those bonded soul, that time Ramchandra Khan was not ready to provide space for Nitananda Prabhu. Nitananda Prabhu and his all parshat came. But they are not ready to give any space. Finally, finally Ramchandra Khan wanted to insult. Insult Nityananda. There is enough space. There is enough space in Goushala. So you ask them to stay there. Wanted to insult Nityananda. Finally, what happens? Finally, what happens? Then all you know Muslim people came and took away all the properties and everything, all you know, all their prestige, everything gone, all their dharma. They cook, you know, they cook, you know, beef there. They cook there and eat all their gone. This way, when, when, the, when the disciple of Nityananda, Minketam Ramdas, when the disciple of Nityananda Prabhu, Minketam Ramdas, Minketam Ramdas went there, in the house of Krishnadas Kobiraj Goswami, Jamatpur. In the house of Krishnadas Kobiraj Goswami, PBS house. They have some deity seva there. But the brother of Krishnadas Kobiraj Goswami was not ready to pay any pranam or any honor to Minketam Ramdas. Finally, what happens? While coming back, Minkedam Namdas was very sorry because Gunarna Misho the Pujari, Gunarna Misho the Pujari, and the brother of Kishodas Kubiraj Goswami, they didn't want to give any respect to Minkedam Namdas because they have no faith in Nityananda. Finally, Kishodas Kubiraj Goswami is speaking. When, when Minketam Namdas gone by breaking his fruit, 
Then after that, Kishnadas Kupidas Goswami writing, Sei kale mor bhatar hoilo sarbonas. Then my brother lose everything, all consciousness. Sarbonas mean consciousness, all lose consciousness. When, when Minkitam Nanda is gone from that place, then Kishnadas Kupidas Goswami speaking, then and there my brother lose all everything. Ma Sei kale mor bhatar hoilo sarbonas. Sarbonas mean they lose everything, all spiritual. So, all, everything gone. Nitan. Gauranga Mahaprabhu wanted to establish Vyasa Puja in Siva Sangha. Nityananda Prabhu was there. Nityananda Prabhu was there. Just came when Gauranga Mahaprabhu manifested his Leela. When Gauranga Mahaprabhu started manifesting his Leela, then Nityananda Prabhu came from Vrindavan. But before that, Nityananda Prabhu was travelling all different pilgrimage of Bharat Barsha. Different pilgrimage. Like Balaji Maharaj, same pilgrimage. Balaji Maharaj from Naimi Sharana. From Naimi Sharana, Balaji Maharaj started doing pilgrimage. Different places. South India here, they different places. They started doing, moving. Same pilgrimage Nityananda Balaram started doing all for the past 12 years. After that, going to Vrindavan to play with all coward boys whole day and night. Nityananda Babu playing with all coward boys in Vrindavan whole day and night. After that, finally, when he could realize our my Prabhu going to manifest his Leela. Now my, my Prabhu Gauranga going to express himself gradually by you can remember Gauranga Mahaprabhu expresses you know six and here Ashtapraho eh? Lila in Siva Sangan express all the twenty you know twenty four hours going to show the Sarupa Bhagavan. He is Bhagavan sitting in the throne of Bhagavan with salogram in hand. Nityanandabhu came before that. I mean, just when Gauranga Mahapu started expressing his Leela, <coughs> after, <coughs> then Nityanandabhu came here. Nityanandabhu came here and took shelter in a house of uh, uh, Nandana Acharya Bhavan. Secretly, nobody knows. Gorang Mahapu in the morning time asking that today I saw one Mahapurush, a great exalted personality, I mean, is coming here in Navadip. Please, you go and search where he is. He already come here. He already come here. You go and search whole Navadip where he is. Then finally, all devotees, they started searching all Navadim. After making comb operation, they could not find. <coughs> finally, they came back. They say, we cannot trace out about whom you are speaking. We, can, we are unable to trace out. Gauranga Mahaprabhu speaking, come with me. Then taking all his devotees and going in the house of Nandanacharya Bhavan, enter the Nandanacharya Bhavan, just like a man in intoxication, this way, Nityananda was sitting. Gauranga Mahaprabhu said this way. This, I am speaking about this. I am speaking about this. Everybody paid underworld unto his lotus feet. And Gauranga Mahaprabhu, what happens? Looking at Nityananda, Nityananda was looking at Gauranga. Finally, finally, when Gauranga Mahaprabhu going to embrace, then Nityananda Prabhu loses consciousness. Mane almost cannot respond, only lying in the you know, chest of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. I mean, Nityananda Valaram, as if Nityananda Prabhu was speaking, I am going to submit unto your lotus feet. Nityananda speaking. 
মানে সাবমিট নিত্যানন্দ ভোগ ফ্রম দেন অনওয়ার্ড নিত্যানন্দ ভোগ দে অ্যান্ড গৌরাঙ্গ মহাপু ওয়ান্টেড টু এস্টাবলিশ ব্যাস পূজা ব্যাস পূজা নিত্যানন্দ প্রভু গৌরাঙ্গ মহাপু ওয়ান্টেড টু এস্টাবলিশ ব্যাস পূজা অফ নিত্যানন্দ প্রভু ব্যাস পূজা ওয়াজ দে প্রিভিয়াসলি ইফ ইউ গো থ্রু শাস্ত্রা ইভেন ইন মায়াবাদ ফোর সম্প্রদায় দেয়ার ইজ অল সিস্টেম অফ গুরু পূজা ইভেন মায়াবাদ ইজ অ্যান্ড অল ফোর আওয়ার ফোর সম্প্রদায় অথেন্টিক সম্প্রদায় দে আর ডুইং ব্যাস পূজা ব্যাস পূজা ইজ দেয়ার বাট গৌরাঙ্গ মাহাপু ওয়ান্টেড টু এস্টাবলিশ ব্যাস পূজা হিয়ার ইন আওয়ার গৌরীয় সোসাইটি গৌরাঙ্গ মা গৌরীয় সোসাইটি ব্যাস পূজা মিন নিত্যানন্দ বাবু অরিজিনাল গুরু তত্ত্ব সো নিত্যানন্দ বাবু ইজ অরিজিনাল গুরু তত্ত্ব সো গৌরাঙ্গ মাহাপু ওয়ান্টেড টু অ্যারেঞ্জ ব্যাস পূজা ইন দ্য হাউস অফ ইন দ্য হাউস অফ শিবাস আচার্য শিবাস আচার্য ওয়াজ দ্য পূজারি পূজারি প্রিস্ট অ্যান্ড অল অ্যারেঞ্জমেন্ট ওয়াজ দে ফাইনালি অ্যাট দ্য অ্যাট দ্য তিথি ব্যাস পূজা তিথি এ ব্যাস পূজা তিথি ব্যাস পূজা গুরু পূজা তিথি গৌরাঙ্গ মাহাপু সিটিং হ্যাঁ গৌরাঙ্গ মাহাপু সিটিং গার্ল্যান্ড অ্যান্ড এভরিথিং অ্যান্ড অফ ব্যাস পূজা মিন নিত্যানন্দ ব্যাস নিত্যান ব্যাস ব্যাসদেব কামিং ফ্রম নিত্যানন্দ বা হি ওয়ান্টেড টু এস্টাবলিশ ব্যাস পূজা তিথি সিস্টেম এগেন সো হু হু ক্যান ওরশিপ নিত্যানন্দ বাবু ক্যান ওরশিপ ব্যাস দেন গিভিং গার্ল্যান্ড অ্যান্ড এভরিথিং পুষ্পাঞ্জলি বা নিত্যানন্দ প্রভু নট পেয়িং এনি পুষ্পাঞ্জলি আন টু দ্য লোটাস ফিট অফ ব্যাসদেব He is only moving around like a madman with a garland and finally going to give the garland in the neck of Gorang Mahapu, finally. Mahapu is saying, you worship. You worship, try to worship. But he is not worshiping. He finally is going to give the garland to Gorang Mahaprabhu to prove that he is the original. Original personality, wanted to prove. This way, আফটার ব্যাস পূজা আফটার ব্যাস পূজা পিপ মহাপ্রভু স্পিকিং টু এভরিবডি দোজ হু আর নট গোয়িং টু পে এনি রেসপেক্ট টু নিত্যানন্দ দোজ হু আর গোয়িং টু লাভ মি অ্যান্ড নট গোয়িং টু পে এনি রেসপেক্ট অ্যান্ড লাভ ফর নিত্যানন্দ আই ক্যান নট এনি ইফ দেয়ার ইজ এনি এনি স্মল অ্যামাউন্ট অফ এনি জেলসি or any you know then i cannot give any kipa to anybody nitanand babu nitanand babu siddhanto was established by gorang mahaprabhu then after that some brahman from brahmin some brahmin from this you know mayapur dham he went to puri i mean i am up and down discussing when gorang mapu went to nilachal dham after taking sanyas after taking sanyas when gorang mapu went to puri after that some brahman went there to complain with nita uh, complain gorang mapu about nitanand prabhu that nitanand prabhu i have some i have some question to you what question but uh, nobody was there gorang mapu was alone by chance and that time brahman paying pranam to gorang mapu he has no faith in nitanand and speaking to gorang mahaprabhu i have one uh, question to you what is the nature of nitanand everybody speaking he is you know big personality spiritual figure but is always wearing different ornaments everything and nice cloth and taking an uh, iron stick iron stick always full of ornament and staying in the house of shudra all the time is staying in the house of shudra so what to do i i, I cannot understand his behavior his behavior i cannot understand his movement what he is doing what i cannot understand what he is doing this way when brahmans 
Brahman started complaining about Nityananda Prabhu, Gorang Mahapu was smiling mood told that Nityananda Prabhu is not ordinary man. Nityananda Prabhu is not ordinary man. All ornament you can find in the bodies of Nityananda is a symptom of Navida Bhakti, nine folds of Bhakti. In the body of Nithananda, when you can find different ornament, he is sannyasi. He is sannyasi. Why he can ornament? Here also in our Sampradaya, some Acharya started complaining. He wrote one book where he told Nithananda can never marriage. Nithananda can never marriage. It is mentally concocted. Nithananda can never marriage. I mean, Vasudha Janava is a disciple of Nithananda. They are not wife. They are writing in the book, is there, still they are with me. Then all our Gauriya Vaishnav society, I know, giving me order to write complaint, I wrote. What to do? They say, in our Sampada, how Nithananda can marry? Nithananda is sannyasi, how he can marry? But you should realize, Nithananda Prabhu, Nithananda Prabhu is sannyasi, but avadu sannyasi. You forget that Nityananda Prabhu is Avadu Sanyasi. He is not Avadu Sanyasi Mane Gyan Onishto Viraktova Madhvaktova Anafakshakaha Shalinganam Asramam Sakta Charit Avidi Gocharaha. Gyan Onishto Viraktova Madhvaktova Anafakshakaha Shalinganam Asramam Sakta Charit Avidi Gocharaha. Those who are Avadu Sanyasi, Avadu, their activities you cannot understand. Those who are Abhudu Sanyasi, their activities you cannot understand. And is, is the original of all Abhudu Sanyasi. All original source of Abhudu Sanyasi in Nithananda. So, so he himself going to play this kind of pastime. So the Brahman was convinced by Gorang Mapu, he is not ordinary personality. Always Krishna is sitting inside his heart. Kauranga Mahapu singing, always Krishna is sitting inside his heart. Always, all the time, you know, go, always, all the time, Krishna Bhagavan is sitting inside his heart. And according to that, according to the indication of Krishna, he is doing everything. So, they are speaking this way. That why Nityananda wearing ornament, nice clothes, Garland so nice, why? So, that same Gaurang Mahaprabhu, that same Gaurang Mahaprabhu wanted to give punishment to Chhoto Haridas. That same Gaurang Mahaprabhu wanted to give punishment to Chhoto Haridas. Even Chhoto Haridas had done no, nothing, externally has done nothing, only mentally. Inside heart, he has done, done nothing wrong. Choto Haridas done nothing wrong externally. Only mentally was thinking, but still Gorang Mapu sitting in the heart of everybody as super soul. She wanted to give punishment to Choto Haridas. Whereas same Gorang Mapu never want uh, whereas same Gorang Mapu wanted to speak about Rai Ramananda. Whereas Rai Ramananda serving all small girls, young girl, teenage girl. Changing their clothes, you know, arranging their bath, you know, giving ornament, everything, teaching them how to play the drama, how to play the drama this way. Whereas Gorang Mapu, when Pradunna Mishra came to complain, Gorang Mapu was speaking, only Rai Ramananda, only and only Rai Ramananda having this kind of power. Ek Rai Ramananda Hai Oishya Udhikar. Only and only Rai Ramananda having this kind of power. I myself is sannyasi. I am myself, I am sannyasi. But still, if I hear the name of Matajis, Matajis, if I hear the name of Matajis, my body feeling reaction. Mahaprabhu speaking. Mahaprabhu speaking. Amija sannyasi. 
Mahaprabhu speaking, Ami je sanyasi apnare virakta kori mani. I, I, I am sanyasi, I am sanyasi entering into this renounced order, but still, if I hear the name of Matajis, my body can feel reaction. Only and only Raya, Rama, Raya Ramananda, this kind of, this kind of power Raya Ramananda having. This kind of power Raya Ramananda have. Only Raya Ramananda. So, we know Tatejani of Prakita Swaritahar. So, we know the body of Raya, so we know the body of Raya Ramananda, so we know the body of Raya Ramananda is of Prakita. So, you understand. Same Gaurang Mahapu giving punishment to Shatwari Das, same Gaurang Mahapu giving you know, honor to Raya Ramananda for this kind of secret seva. Because Raya Ramananda, Raya Ramananda serving with the mood, serving with the mood of maid servant. Like maid servant serving Radharani with this mood. Raya Ramananda serving those young girls with a mood that I am serving Radharani with this mood. No reaction there. That's why Mahaprabhu speaking, his body is aprakita. Is Tatejani aprakita sarita. So Nityananda Prabhu was Abhudu Sanyasi. So Abhudu Sanyasi, what do you mean by Sanyasi? First of all, what do you mean by Sanyasi? What is the symptom of sannyasi? What is the symptom of sannyasi? By body, speech and mind. Bacho begam, manasaha, jivabhi, kurodha begam, jivabhi begam, udarapastha begam. This sloka, bacho begam, manasaha, kurodha begam, jivabhi begam, udarapastha begam, etano begano jo vishayata, vishayata dhiraha, Sarvam apimam pithivim sa shishyat. So this is the symptom of sannyas. Bacha vegam manusaha, jiva vegam, krodha vegam, udarapastha vegam. Ejo six, you know, arch, pressure. If you can control is. And in Gita Bhagavan speaking, in Gita Bhagavan speaking, the what is the sloka in Gita Bhagavan speaking? Gyon sa Gyon sa Sanyasi Gyon sa I forget Gyon sa Nitya Sanyasi Jona Deshti no Kankati You must remember the eternal Sanyasi is there. Don't understand. Those who are going to dedicate their life, sannyas means sannyas means shot, shot plus nas. Sannyas means shot plus nas, according to Sanskrit grammar. Shot means inside your body nothing shot. Inside your body, from your hair tip up to your nail, nail tip, nothing shot. All asat mane not eternal. From your hair tip up to nail, everything material, all material, not sat. Sat means eternal person, asat means not eternally present, not eternal. So nothing sat, but only the atma, but only the atma inside your heart that is sat. Sat na atma inside that your jivatma. What is there inside you are eternally present. E eternally present. Your Atma eternally present. Eternally present means short. Though apparently it seems due to previous sanskar, due to previous sanskar for life after life, life after life due to wrong, dirty sanskar, Jiva is exhibiting this kind of thing, apparently. But by Sharupa, but by Sarupa, Jiva is all Suddha, eternal. So, Shat plus Nas. Nas means nas mean to keep, to deposit something to somebody, to offer. Nas means 
Nash means when somebody is going to deposit something to some. So when you are going to offer your Atma, so when you are going to offer your Atma unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan for his eternal service, that is called actual sannyas. In sannyas mantra, you know, Nityananda padad dandam jesam hitkarnika lai tesham dasanudasaham prasudantu sadivai. It is a sannyas mantra, not sannyas directly. Before sannyas, you will have to speak this mantra. Nityananda padad dandam jesam article. So sannyas mean, sannyas mean if your life, soul, everything dedicated unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan, I mean for the eternal service of Bhagavan. For the eternal service of Bhagavan, for the eternal service of Bhagavan, when you are going to offer everything, that is called actual sannyas. So, if you say Vishnu Priya Devi is also sannyas, Janava Devi is also sannyas, Ganga Mata Raghuran is sannyas, externally you cannot find sannyas, there are no rules. But internally, if you calculate, they are actually Nityananda. Janava Thakurani Sanyas, Ganga Mata Thakurani Sanyas, Delhi they are Sanyas, they are Sanyas, and Nithyanand Babu Sanyas, everybody is Sanyas, but externally you cannot find. So, Nithyanand Babu is Balaram, who is serving Krishna all different way, all different way, Nithyanand Balaram serving all money starting to end, starting to end all seva, Nityananda Prabhu. All seva. I mean the cha I mean the wooden chapel, wooden chapel, the scarred thread, the garment, the throne where sitting, the you know umbrella there, or the house where. Bhagavan saying all, everything. Everything Nityananda. Nityananda Babu serving, Nityananda Babu serving Krishna, I mean Balaram serving Krishna in all countless way. Countless way. Countless way mean? What do you mean by countless way? Countless way mean countless jivas there, countless jivas there, all. Eternal Parshat of Bhagavan, they are also countless. And those bonded soul here, they are also countless. Those who are Nitya Siddha or Sadhana Siddha, they are all serving Bhagavan. Follow. All Nityananda Prabhu Valaram coming in this form. All Nityananda Valaram coming in this form, in different countless way. Any Jiva is doing service to Bhagavan, that is also Nityananda doing. Or any jivas in the form of jiva, Paramatma Bhagavan, in the form of Paramatma, Nityananda Balaram sitting na, inside her. How? Let me see. First of all, first of all, in Vrindavan, inside Vrindavan, Mul Sankarshan Balaram, Mul inside Vrindavan. After that, from Mul Sankarshan, there is one Chaturbuha all around Golokdham. There is, there is Vasudev, Vasudev Sankarshan Padruna Aniruddha. Vasudev uh, Sankarshan Padruna Aniruddha. There, in four form. After that, that Mul Sankarshan Balaram taking the form of another Chaturbhu. Another Chaturbhu around Vaikuntha Dham. All Vaikuntha Dham. The Chaturbhu. They are also Vasudev uh, Sankarshan Paddun Anuruddha. Again, from that Sankarshan coming Karunanabhasai Mahavishnu, Karunanabhasai, who is the cause of all creation, Karunanabhasai Mahavishnu, infinity Brahmanda. That is also Sankarshan Balaram. Balaram coming in the form of Je about whom it is written in Brahma Sangita. About whom it is written in Brahma Sangita, 
जस्क निशेष तो काल मथावलम्बो जीवंती लोम बिलजा जगदनाथ विष्णु महान स इहु जस्सु कला विशेषो गोविंदमादि पुरुषम तमाम बजामी सब अल्लाह जी महाराज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ महाविष्णु इनफिनिटी ब्रह्मांडो इन साइड रेस्टिंग इन साइड इन एक्सिलेशन एंड हिलेशन ऑल इनफिनिटी ब्रह्मांडो देर आफ्टर दैट दैट महाविष्णु Who is non-different from Advaita Gosai? I told you, na Advaita Gosai is very happy. Mahavishnu Jagat Karta Mayaya Jyoti Jyoti Adha Tasya Vatar Eva Ayam Advaita Chaji Swara. Advaita Sara Advaita Achar Jyo non-different from Mahavishnu. Only the difference is that Mahavishnu become the cause of creation, cause and effect. You can find. Effect you can find by the help of Advaita. He is also, I mean, the matter coming. What is called matter, matter, all the matter of this creation. Where from this case? For creation, you need some matter, na? All. I don't know. Nimitta karan or upadan karan. In Bengali, we say Sanskrit and Bengali. Nimitta karan. I mean, the cause. Upadan. And upadan karan means all ingredients, all coming. Nityananda. So that Mahavishnu entering into all universe, such universe, infinite universe. What universe is visible? If you look at the at the sky in the night time, such infinity universe you can find. Such infinity universe. So each and every universe that Mahavishnu going to enter. Mahavishnu going to enter everywhere. So in the form of Gorbhadu Gosai. After that, each and everywhere the the lotus a sprout of lotus coming from the navel portion, and after that this creation, this creation. After that, Bhagwan also sitting in a Kira Sagar, Kira Sagar. Sleeping there, there and in the form Aniruddha Vishnu, and Aniruddha Vishnu entering into the entering mean eternal present. When you say entering into, that's mean not that doesn't mean on the starting point. When we say entering, that doesn't mean yesterday entered. It entered mean eternal present. So Mahavishnu. Sitting inside the heart of everybody as Paramatma. Khirodho Gosai Aniruddha Vishnu, Khirodho Gosai Aniruddha Vishnu sitting inside the heart of everybody as Paramatma. So, when when Jiva is doing any seva, when Jiva is doing any seva directly, when Jiva is doing some seva directly, suppose they develop bhakti, they like to do seva. Do seva Bhagwan. That also Nityananda Balaram in the form of different. You know? Because all Jivatma coming from Nityananda. Nityananda, all Jivatma coming from Nityananda. Also those who are serving Maya Devi. Also those who are serving Maya Devi, countless Jivas. Those who are serving Maya Devi. Maya Devi, na? So directly, indirectly, indirectly they are also serving Bhagwan. Because Maya coming from Bhagavan, Maya coming from Bhagavan. So if Maya coming from Bhagavan, then if you are going to serve Maya, that you must that's when you are doing seva of Bhagavan indirectly. Indirectly, na? If there is no creation is there, if there is no creation, no creation, then jivas cannot get scope to cut their anarth. This creation is there. That's why Mahavishnu is going to throw all jivas into the womb of Maya Devi. Maya Devi ultimately going to give birth to different jivas according to your previous sanskar like tiger, elephant, snake, man. Different sanskar they are taking. So Maya Devi is going to give birth according to their different sanskar. And 
when bonded soul coming here and taking birth in this material world, according to their sanskar, previous sanskar, they are doing some activities. So, it automatically this world, this arrangement of this world, this world running automatically. Automatically this creation moving, automatically. So, those who are serving Mayadevi, they are also serving Bhagavan indirectly. Follow, don't understand. Mayadevi, they are serving Mayadevi. Because their sanskar is bad, so they are serving Mayadevi. So when they are serving Mahadevi, they have the they have the scope to do something here. So all like one, you know, drama. Somebody playing in the form of professor of physics, somebody playing the drama eh, of scientists, eh? somebody playing the drama of some you know writer, speaker, different. They are playing the drama, somebody being a policeman, somebody being a thief, all different, diversified, different kind of things. So directly, indirectly, is the service of Bhagavan. Like same thing Brahma told to Priyabrata, Bhagavan, he has given us the seva of creation. Brahma speaking to Priyabrata, his grandson, it is the seva of Bhagavan, what I can do? Bhagavan, it is a seva of Bhagavan. Bhagavan giving, uh, giving me this seva of creation. So, your father also, Manu, doing seva of Bhagavan. Also, Brahma speaking, I am doing, Shankar doing, Shankar Bhagavan also doing the seva of Bhagavan. Destruction, a goddess of destruction. And Brahma is a goddess of creation. And Vishnu also coming from that Vishnu. That Vishnu, though a Prakita Tattva, Brahma, Vishnu, Sankar, in different form. Brahma is, a, is responsible, responsible for this creation by the power of Bhagavan. By the power of Bhagavan, Brahma taking the responsibility of creation. And Vishnu taking the responsibility of maintenance. And Shankar going to take the responsibility of destruction. So all they coming from Brahma, uh, Brahma, Vishnu, Shankar, all coming from who? Balaji Maharaj. So Balaji Maharaj serving countless way. Try to, this conception should be clear. Directly or indirectly, whatever seva going on, on all Nityananda Bhu Balaram doing. Directly or indirectly, whatever is a countless form. Countless form means infinity Brahmanda, infinity Brahmanda, they are also Bhagavan entering. Infinity, na? Infinity Brahmanda. So in creation, in this creation, Balaram also serving, are before, you know, this creation also Bhagavan, and serving different way. All the all the all the coward boys there, all the coward boys, all the coward boys, they are also coming from Nitananda Varra. All the coward boys, they are all coming from Nitananda Varra. I mean the, all the Parshat. And if you similarly if you come back to Vaikuntra Jagat, that eternal, that eternally present there. Eternally present there are jivas also. Eternal seva, jivas also. An eternal parshat of Bhagavan, those who are coming from Nityananda Balaram. Nityananda Balaram, first of all in, in, in Vrindavan, all the seva, they are coming from Nityananda. If you come to Vaikuntha, directly from Nityananda Balaram, coming in the form of, you know, Narayan, or from there also, all eternally there, and those jivas also, category two type of, one is, nit, one is nittabaddha, nittamukta. Jivas, nittabaddha, nittamukta. Nittamukta, nitto kishna charane unmuk. They are eternally serving Bhagavan. So, 
those who are staying there in Vaikuntha Jagat or in and Golokdam, some coming from directly from the body of Nityananda, and some coming from Tatasya Sakti of Nityananda Balaram. Tatasya Sakti, they have two, two categories. One is Nitya, Nitya Mukta, they are also serving Bhagavan there, and Nitya Baddha, they are serving Maya. Follow, you say. If you have confusion, that big problem. Like from Radharani, all those, you know, all those Brajagopikas, not only Brajagopikas, not only Brajagopikas, all in you know, a wives of Krishna. 16,108, uh, all coming from Radharani. Not only that, if you come to Vaikuntha Jagat, they are also Lakshmi, like Lakshmi Baraha, yesterday we worship Lakshmi Baraha, that Shakti coming with Baraha Dev. That Lakshmi coming with Baraha Dev, that also coming from Radharani. Lakshmi, special Lakshmi coming with Nishingo Dev, Lakshmi Nishingo, not same. Not same. They are Lakshmi. But with Baraha Dev, same. With Kurma Dev, with Nishingo Dev, Lakshmi coming all coming from the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. Similarly, all the pastors, everything coming from Nityananda Balaram. Anyway, so countless way. Countless Brahman, countless way Bhagavan Balaram serving, countless way. So, some, so some, some special, you know, uh, preaching procedure in Nityananda Prabhu. Gorang Mahaprabhu was giving responsibility to Nityananda. Why Nityananda Prabhu came back? Why Nityananda Prabhu came back? Why Nityananda Prabhu came back from Nilachal Dham? And after that, he threw his sannyas base and danda. It was approved by Gauranga. Don't understand. It was approved by Gauranga. Nityananda Prabhu break his then Nithyananda break the danda of Gauranga. You can remember. When, when, after taking sannyas, I can take two incidents, a, a prakita incident. One is after taking sannyas, when Nithyananda, Gauranga, or everybody going towards Nilachaldam. Everybody means not, Advaita Gosa was not there at that time. Nithyananda or some. And uh, after taking sannyas, Advaita Gosa also running. But Mahaprabhu, somehow, you can go back. You cannot go with me. You cannot go with me now. You go and give consolation to these devotees. You give consolation to these devotees. Follow. First of all, after taking sannyas, Gauranga Mahaprabhu went to Advaita Bhavan. There are some festival, everything good. After that, Gauranga Mahaprabhu wanted to go alone. Nobody can go. Nobody can go. But only Nityananda Prabhu and, and some devotee, they went. Uh, they went. Finally, Nityananda Prabhu wanted to break the danda of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. You can remember? Somebody is speaking, the name of river is Bharginadi. Somebody is speaking, Shuvarna Rekha. In Chaitanya Chaitamita, it is written Subhurna Rikha, I Varginadi, and Chaitanya Bhagavad Gita, it is called Subhurna Rikha. So somebody is suspecting. Why? Same Leela, same Leela, but Kalpa, different, different Kalpa, Bhagavan coming. So you can also find two Bastaran Leela Khetra in Vrindavan. One is near Kaliyadha, one is near. One is near Baldav Rasasthali. I have to go uh, five kilometers from there. There. One, Bastar and Lila there, one. So how? So Kalpa, in different Kalpa, in different, different Kalpa, different kind of things happening. So Nithyananda Prabhu, Gauranga Mahaprabhu going to give his danda, Gauranga Mahaprabhu going to give his danda to Nithyananda. You can protect this danda, I am coming. In the meantime, Nityananda is going to break that danda in three parts. 
When Gorang Mapu wanted to ask, where is my danda? Nithanu was speaking, it is already broken. Broken? I have my only property in my life. That is my danda. You already bro already broken. Nithanu speaking, you fall down on my body and I you and me both fall down on the on the danda. And danda break into three parts. I already throw into a river. What is the reason? What is the secret reason? Secret reason is that Nitananda fast, Nitananda Babu, Nitananda Babu fast talking with the Danda. Nitananda Babu talking with the Danda because Gauranga Mahaprabhu Danda cannot be material. Only a piece of bamboo, Nitananda Babu, Nitananda Babu going to speak with the Danda. Surely Gauranga Mahaprabhu's Danda, I mean the Danda, Nitananda Babu. Gauranga Mahapu catching is that Danda is not ordinary Danda, it is Aprakita. So Nithyananda Prabhu talking with the Danda. I am carrying, I am going to ca I am ca I am going to carry my Prabhu inside my heart. And how you dare that my Prabhu can carry you? I am going to carry my Prabhu inside my heart all the time. I am going to carry my Prabhu inside my heart all the time. And how you dare that Prabhu, whom I am going to carry inside my heart, who can carry you? It is not good. Nithyanabhu talking with, talking with the Danda. Then break the Danda thread. So, Kayaman Bhakko, by, by, by body, speech and mind, <coughs> by body, speech and mind, if there is no submission by body, speech and mind, I mean one sannyasi cannot reserve anything. That kind of sannyas is rare, not rare, most rare, almost nil. That kind of sannyas. By body, speech and mind, you have to throw everything. You have to engage all body, speech and mind for the, for the eternal seva of Bhagavan. That is almost rare today. So, Nithyananda Prabhu wanted to break the danda of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Also, when one day Nithyananda Prabhu break the danda, is, you know, then it was approved by Gauranga Mahaprabhu. By the indication of, by the indication of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, by the indication of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, he was bound to change his sannyas space, but internally no change. Externally, Nithyananda Prabhu eternally sannyas. Nithyananda Prabhu eternally sannyas. So, external base, by the order of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, one day, while coming back from Nilachal Khetra after Ratha Yatra was over, when the Ratha Yatra was over, when the Ratha Yatra was over, that time, Nithyananda Prabhu and Gauranga Mahaprabhu sitting inside one solitary room, and talking with Isha, nobody there. What kind of discussion was there, nobody knows. But we can understand when Nithyananda was going to change his dress, everything, for the preaching of Chaitanya Vani, for the preaching, for the actual preaching of Chaitanya Vani, Nithyananda was bound to Change his base, external base. It was the order of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. That's why Prabhupada told, you can remember, Prabhupada told, for the actual preaching of Chaitanya Vani, for the actual preaching of Chaitanya Vani, I can come down to any level. That is vital. For the actual preaching of Chaitanya Vani, Nityananda Prabhu was bound to change this because sannyasis always cannot get in touch with all Griyastha. Family member in the material world. Sannyasis, they cannot get in touch. Family member. So, Nithyananda Prabhu was bound to change his base and took, you know, resolution for actual preaching. So, massive preaching was possible by the mercy of Nithyananda. And Gauranga Mahaprabhu also, after taking sannyas, started preachings. Is actually a multiple way. This kind of preaching, never nobody heard. Never nobody heard this kind of preaching, multiple way of preaching. Mane Gauranga Mahaprabhu is there. Gauranga Mahaprabhu 
giving kipa to somebody. He is going to village. He is going to give advice to four men. Each of those four men going to advise someone the multiple way of preaching, massive preaching. That was exclusive. Like leprosy vipro. You remember? Kushti vipro. Kushti vipro or kurma vipro also. Kurma vipro, kushti vipro. Oh. Mahaprabhu giving order. You can go and you can go <coughs> and give kipa to everybody. This way, by the desire of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, preaching was possible. By the desire of Nitan, by the desire of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu started preaching. And Nityananda Prabhu is the sole, sole authority of preaching. Nityananda Prabhu is the sole authority of preaching. Nityananda Prabhu, any preaching, any preaching anywhere, anybody doing, any preaching anywhere, anybody doing, if they are not going to take shelter of Nityananda Prabhu, Balaram, if they are not going to take shelter of Guru Parampara, then no possible. Then preaching, actual preaching, not possible. Actual preaching, not possible. That's why it is written in Chaitanya Charitamito that what is written, it is, uh, uh, if actual kipa of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, then preaching is possible. Preaching, actual preaching is possible. So, in Srimad Bhagavatam, we find, Jesham Swayesha Bhagavan Dayayed Ananta, Jesham Swayesha Bhagavan Dayayed Ananta, Sarvatmana Asrita Padam Yodhi Nirvalikam, Te Dustaram, Te dustaram otitaram chita jiva mayam no mamaho miti dhi sa sigal bhakshi. So, what is it? Jesham sa esha bhagavan dayoed ananto sharbatmana siddha padam jadi nirvalikam te dustaram otitaram chita jiva mayam no mamaho no mamaho miti dhi sa sigal bhakshi. Sa sigal bhakshi. So, Jesha. Jesham se esha dayed bhagavan ananto. Whom, whom Nityananda Prabhu doing best kipa, doing kipa, actual kipa. Jesham se esha bhagavan dayed ananto. To whom Nityananda Prabhu is to kipa, only and only he can cut this maya, impossible, infinity maya. Only and only those who are enjoying full kipa of Nityananda Prabhu, they can cut Maya. Jesham says, Dayed Bhagavan. Jesham says, Bhagavan, Dayed Ananta. Sarvatmana Asita Padam Yudhinirvalikam. Sarvatmana Asita Padam means those who are surrendered from heart. Sarvatmana Asita Padam. Those who have taken shelter from heart. Sarvatma Asit Vadam, Nirvalikam. Nirvalikam Mani? Nirvalikam means without any kapat bhav. It's all same, meaning is also same, almost same. Those who are taking shelter unto a lotus feet of Bhagavan from heart, surely they are nishkapat. If there is any duplicity there, if there is any duplicity, surely he cannot take shelter. If there is any duplicity, surely he cannot take shelter of unto a lotus feet of Bhagavan from heart. And at the same time, who is taking shelter from heart, surely he is Sarvatmana Asita Padam, Nirvalikam, Niskapat. So, by the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, by the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, we can cut infinity maya. By the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, we can cut infinity maya and we can go up in Vaikuntha Jagat. Otherwise, it is impossible. Without the Kipa of Nityananda, it is impossible. So, after taking sannyas, Mahaprabhu is preaching, and after leaving sannyas, all same meaning, he is taking sannyas, Gorang Mahaprabhu, has got no meaning. Mahaprabhu told, why people taking sannyas to serve Bhagavan from heart, by body, speech of mind. This is Seva. And Mahaprabhu speaking, 
after taking sannyas, Mahaprabhu speaking, what is uh, what is the what is the utility for me to take sannyas? Whereas prem is my own property. Kikaj sannyase more prem upon dhan. What is the use of my sannyas? Mahaprabhu speaking after taking sannyas. You can go through Chaitanya, you can find command. What, what is the use of my sannyas? Whereas a prem is my own property. People taking sannyas to serve Bhagavan from heart and to get, get prem, property prem. And that prem is my own property. Kika sannyase more prem upon dhan. It is my own property. So what is the use of taking sannyas? Same thing we can say for Nityananda. If you are not ready to understand, then I cannot make you understand. Same thing, na? Nityananda Gauranga is not different. Nityananda Gauranga, is, is there any difference? No difference. Krishna and Balaram, no difference. Only body is different. Nityananda and Gauranga Mapu, non different. Same Krishna and Balaram, non different. That's why, Prabhupada speaking, only and only, only and only, it is only and only this Nityananda Balaram. Only and only. Only and only for Nityananda Balaram, it is allowed. I mean, Nityananda Balaram, Nityananda, I mean, Balaram can take, uh, I mean, peacock feather. Except, except Krishna Balaram, Narayan cannot take. So, Balaram also can take. So, Balaram can also take, Balaram can also make ras, but not surely with the same Gopika. His group is different. So, somebody putting question, Maharaj, if Nityananda Balaram is actually Shevak Tattva, Papa speaking, Balaram, Nityananda Balaram, at the same time, Shevak and Shevva Tattva. Nityananda Balaram is at the same time Shebo, Shebo and Shebok Tattva, both. Only for Balaram, not for anybody. Like Krishna is Shebo Tattva, Krishna is Shebo Tattva, we don't understand. Krishna is Shebo Tattva, we need to serve Krishna. But about Balaram, two Tattva applicable. One is Balaram, at the same time Balaram is Shebok Tattva, at the same time, Sebo Tattva. Balaram is Shebak Tattva, 100%. At the same time, Balaram is Shebak Tattva. Both applicable. Balaram is Shebak Tattva, Sheva, both. So, we must understand that Balaram can take sannyas, Balaram cannot take, it matters little. Balaram Nityananda can take sannyas, I cannot. Sannyas is always there. So, Nityananda Balaram, Prabhupada speaking, only and only for Nityananda Balaram, we can say, Shebbo at his Sevak at the same time Sebbo Tattva. Balaram is Sevak at the same time Sebbo Tattva. But Krishna is only Sevak Sebbo Tattva. Shebbo. Krishna is only Sebbo Tattva. Same. So, it is Achinta Vedavat Tattva. According to the Siddhanta Vichara Achinta Vedavat Tattva, if you look, Balaram, Nityananda, and all infinity universe is also related with Krishna according to Achinta Vedavat Tattva, related with infinite, with Krishna. So, Nityananda Prabhu, living sannyas, or Gauranga Prabhu, taking sannyas, both same meaning. Don't understand. Nithananda Gauranga Mahapur taking sannyas. What is the meaning? And Nithananda Gauranga Mahapur taking sannyas. And Nithananda living sannyas. Both same meaning. Both same meaning. Externally it's, a, it's a, it may, you know, some fallacy. You can feel something different. Not that. Not that. He's taking sannyas and living sannyas. All same meaning. Same meaning. What to do? So, Multiple preaching. Nityananda Prabhu came back by the order of Gauranga Mahapur. He was bound to marry. Marry mean 
not marriage. Actually, Janna Babu Sita is eternally present. Externally, it seems marriage. Like the case of Gopikas. Like the case of, and now Brahma Sangita, the same, same chapter going on. Ananda Chinmaya Rasa Pratibhavi Tavi Stavir Eva Nijurva Taya Kalavi. The same sloka going on. There it is, Jiva Gosai by writing, for Krishna in Golugdham, for Krishna in Golugdham, there is Shakya. Shakya means those who are Shakti you can find, they are non different from Krishna. They are non different from Krishna. Same as Krishna. That's why in Rasa Lila it is written, Krishna playing with his own, me, own you know, uh, reflection. I mean, in mirror, mirror you can see your own reflection. In Bhagavad it is a Krishna doing Rasa Lila, I mean Krishna is playing with his own, Krishna is playing with his own reflection. Ananda Chinnu. So, Jiva Goswami wanted to say, that all gopikas, they are eternally sakya. At the same time, they are eternally parakya. Eternally parakya bab must be there. Parakya feeling. Eternally, if you think there's gopikas, those gopikas, they are non different from Krishna. They are sakya, eternal sakya. At the same time, Jiva Goswami was speaking. At the same time, Jiva Goswami is speaking, they are Shakya eternally. But at the same time, they have their feeling of Parakya. To increase the excellency of Rasa. To increase the excellency of Rasa, so eternal, eternally Parakya Bhav is also there. Eternally Parakya Bhav. I mean, in Gologdam, there is no husband, no Jotila Kutila, no Kangsa, nothing. Only conception is there. Direct feeling. Oh, Jotila Kutila can come. Direct feeling. Only conception is there. Conception is a positive conception. Not negative. If you say negative, then it is Maya. So their conception, they are persisting eternally. What is that? That Jotila Kutila is there. But actually Jotila Kutila is not there. But conception is positive. Because if conception is positive, not positive, if you think negative, then all Leela become negative. But in when those that, that same Leela, when that same Leela, when coming from Golo, uh, Vrindavan Golok to here, Bhoma Vrindavan, there physically you can find Jotila Kutila everything. When that same Leela, when that same Leela which is there in Vrindavan Dham, when that Leela when can come here, then you can find physically that Jyotila Kutila is there, Kongsa is there. Follow. And the husband of Gopika is there. Physically you can find. But physically, though you can find physically, the husband, wife, you know, mother-in-law, everything there. But all arrangement done by Yogamaya. All arrangement done by Yogamaya. So, Gauranga Mahaprabhu taking sannyas for why? To show us, to show us this, this, you know, this Parakya Bhav. Unnato Jalarasan, Parakya Bhav, which is not available in Daruka. Daruka Parakya Bhav is not available. Unnato Jalaras, Unnato Jalaras is not available in Daruka Dham. Unnata Ujjal Ras is only available inside Vrindavan. So do you think that Nityananda Prabhu have no right to serve Gorang Mahapu's sweet way? And Madhurva, yes. Nityananda Prabhu also serving Krishna. Why we call Jannava Mata, na? Jannava Mata also serving Krishna. Jannava Mata is non-different from Krishna. From Nityananda. Nityananda Sakti, Janava Bhushudha, eternal present. So, where from the question of marriage coming? But still, marriage. Follow what he say. No question of my marriage, but externally you can find marriage. They eternal Sakti, na? Janava Bhushudha, 
both of them are eternal, eternal Sakti. Who they? Who they? Reboti Baruni. Reboti Baruni. Baruni, Reboti and Baruni. So, Bosuda Mata is uh, Baruni, uh, is Reboti. At the same time, our Ananga Manjari, Ananga Manjari and our Janmatakuri non different. So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna playing Rasalila, doing Nityananda Prabhu also serving Rasalila. Krishna Bhagavan doing Rasalila, inside Rasalila, our Janavata Gurani also there. Ah, there. Anang, Ananga Manjari, in the form of Ananga Manjari. Also there. So, all the way, if you discuss the countless way, even in Rasa Lila, here, there, all the way. Nityananda Prabhu serving, Nityananda Prabhu serving Gauranga, I mean Balaram serving Krishna, all the time. So many incidents, I can say, but time cannot permit, today I can stop. You know, today I can stop here, anyway. So, what, is, what sloka I started with? Janusya Krishna, Vimugasya Daivad, Adharma silasya sudukhita sya anugruhayeha charanti nunam bhutani bhavyani janardana sya all the janardana nitananda bhu coming in in the form of Sadguru to deliver us from material jagat this material jagat I like to deliver us janasya krishna divimukha sya daivad adharma silasya sudukhita sya anugruhayeha charanti nunam Bhutani Bhabhyani Janardana Asya Vanchakalpaduru Sikipasindhu Bhaja Patitanan Pabhanapu Vaishnavyo Namun